Oh, what a painful sound. You ever installed lighting on the side of your vehicle so that way you can illuminate an area, but then you have a fear of killing your battery? The last thing you wanna do is kill your battery, so then what, you leave your vehicle on for a long period of time? You ever thought, how long can I actually have my vehicle on before it actually dies? Well, in this video, we're gonna to try to answer that question at a very high level. First thing I did was I bought two brand new batteries. I got one smaller one that's pretty common from Odyssey, and then one that packs a little bit more punch. We're going to see if the nerdy math actually lines up to what I think. I think that it's not gonna last very long. I do have a fear of leaving my lights on. I don't want you guys to have that fear. So first thing I'm gonna do is install this Odyssey battery. If you're not changing out your battery, you sure can take your own personal battery to Napa or wherever and get a free battery test. The state of this charge was at 81% when I purchased it and the state of health was at 96%. This was just brand new straight off their shelf. The goal here is just simply not to kill the battery. And we're gonna install two of these. This is the four banger from Morimoto. It's an off-road pod light and it's one of the brightest in the world. Two of these is pretty common to have on the side of your vehicle if you're gonna illuminate an area. So what I've got here is I got the voltmeter just attached to this first car battery we're gonna test. Once it drops to below 10 and a half volts, at that point, it's gonna be very difficult for you to start your vehicle. So that's the benchmark. With the pod lights on, the timer now starts. How long is it going to last? The nerdy math says it's gonna last for over seven and a half hours. I really do not agree, but we'll see. The timer is running. Now, this is the HXB, and it's the highest and brightest Morimoto four banger pod light. The four banger is the size. There is an NCS version of this pod light as well. So if you wanted something that doesn't draw as much amperage, you sure can do that. The HXB four bangers actually draw 3.2 amps of power, and the NCS version only draws 1.5 amp per pod light. Remember when I said this test has a million variables? Well, there's a million options when it comes to off-road pod lights also. Like if you wanted to install two bangers on the side of your vehicle, it's smaller than the Morimoto four banger and it looks like this on your vehicle. If you wanna install that with the HXB version, their brightest version, it draws 1.5 amps of power. And if you chose to install the Morimoto two banger in the NCS version, their entry level, it only draws one amp per pod light. Here's our two hour checkup. These have been on for two hours now and we've barely lost any voltage at all. Uh, it's safe to say that one, we all are probably due for a new battery because when I leave my four bangers on my vehicle, it dies right away. And uh, two, maybe the math is actually accurate. If that's the case, let me show you how to do the math. Now, technically we are able to calculate how long this will last. And the way we did it was we took the, how many amp hours this Odyssey battery had. In this case, it was 59. A quick Google search showed us that the usable capacity of this was only 80%. So we took those 59 amp hours and times it by 0 0.80, which then got us 47.2 amp hours. Those are the usable amp hours. And then we just needed to figure out how many amps we were gonna draw. Since we used two four bangers, both of which were at 3.2 amps, we calculated 6.4 amps. We have nothing else on on this forerunner and it's just these two pod lights on one side of the vehicle. You take 47.2 divided by 6.4 and we got 7.38 hours. So the math is telling us that in 7.38 hours, we should no longer be able to start this pig. I guess we'll figure it out when we keep this thing on. What a painful sound. As long as you don't leave your vehicle on for over 10 hours, you're gonna be just fine. This right now, you'd be left stranded in the woods. Let's try to do the bigger battery and see just how long that's supposed to last. When I installed the bigger battery and we left these two four bangers on, it lasted for 15 and a half hours. The math on this said it would last for about 12 and a half. So it lasted much longer. That's a good thing. If it was much shorter, I would be concerned. I cannot wait to see what you guys say in the comments of our very non-scientific test with this car battery. 
Now, what can we conclude from this video though? One, if you get a brand new battery, you can actually use your off-road pod lights on the side of your vehicle for a very, very long time without actually starting your vehicle. Two, you need to be very cautious about how many pod lights you have on at one time. Again, I only had these two pod lights on, and if you had, say, 10 pod lights, come on, it's gonna go 10 times as fast. That would be five times as fast. See the math? It would deplete five times faster. And to be honest, two is a perfect amount of light to illuminate an entire area. If you get the flood beam pattern on this four banger, let me tell you, you're gonna be able to see the entire scene like nothing else. And three, a battery is really important if you're gonna upgrade the lighting on your vehicle. So first, get your battery checked. If it's not in good health, just replace your battery and then you don't have to worry. Honestly, if your lights are gonna stay on all night long, the sun's gonna be up before it's even a problem. So go to headlightrevolution.com. We generally test lights. If you want us to test more with car batteries, sure, we can do it. Please post it in the comments below. If you're gonna haze us on how we scientifically uh, came to the conclusion, please also post that in the comments below. Can't wait to see you guys at headlightrevolution.com. See you next time.